हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी एंड द फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स से एनर्जी नाइद वी क्रिएटेड नॉट डिस्ट्रॉयड इट कैन ओनली कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म टू अनदर फॉर्म to understand the first law of thermodynamics in better way i'm considering a piston cylinder arrangement here here i'm considering a piston cylinder arrangement in this a cylinder this is the cylinder which is full of gas and it is attached with the piston here you can see this is the piston and this is the cylinder which is full of gas and uh, uh, in this system uh, this system is totally leak proof and uh, uh, it means leak proof means uh, there is no gas goes out from the system and if we add some heat in the system from some outside sources here you can see uh, the q is denoting the heat and if we are adding heat from some outside sources so because of this heat by adding this heat uh, the properties of the system will change uh, the properties if we consider like pressure temperature volume so those properties of the gas will change by adding heat from outside sources so if we are considering the pressure so the pressure will change because of adding heat so uh the pressure will increase because of adding heat so it will move the piston up in upward direction it means there is some work done from the system here this w is denoting is the work done so because of the upward movement of the piston there are some work done from the system and if we consider there is some change in internal energy in the system this delta e is denoting the change in internal energy of the system so the net energy transfer will be delta e equal to q minus w so here we can say the energy stored is neither heat nor work it is the internal energy only it is the internal energy delta e only and we can write this equation as q equal to w plus delta e here q we can uh, here q is the amount of heat transfer to the system it is the amount of heat transfer to the system and w is the amount of work transfer to the system amount of work transfer to the system so uh, we can say this first law of thermodynamics is based on the conservation of energy only and here the delta e the internal energy is independent of path and q and w both are dependent on path we can write here these are the delta e is independent of path and q and w both are depend on path a very common example of first law of thermodynamics is when you switch on the light what you have to do you just turn on the electric switch so here the electricity is the second source uh, electricity is generated by some primary source some primary source of energy is generally used to generate the electricity and from where this electricity comes uh, it comes from uh, generally from dams in dams generally water release through small openings and it and, and the driving pressure of water is used to turn the turbine and the work of the turbine is used to generate the electricity so here we can say here 
the energy neither be created nor destroyed it can be convert from one form to another form if we consider a cyclic process if we are considering a cyclic process so generally for cyclic process the condition is this is the condition for cyclic process summation of q cycle so uh, according to this cyclic process we can say the algebraic sum of all energy transfer across the system is zero this is the condition or this is the equation for cyclic process now if we consider uh, if we consider a system which change its state from 1 to 2 by following different path here i am considering just consider a system i am drawing a pv diagram for this p v there are two states of the system state 1 and state 2 and this state uh, this system is changing its state from state 1 to state 2 by following different path here i am considering three different path for this system this is path a this is path b and another path is c there are three path in this system so according to first law of thermodynamics so for the first law for the first law the first law for path a is written as q a equal to delta e a plus w a this is for path a now for path b the equation is qb equal to delta eb plus wb this is the equation for path b now if we consider path a and b this path a and path b both are cyclic these these two path are making a cycle or we are considering these two paths are the cyclic so uh, just consider path a and b are cyclic so according to this we can write here according to this we can write here summation of w cycle equal to summation of q cycle so we can write here as w a plus w b equal to q a plus q b W A minus Q A equal to Q B minus W B. So this is we can write as delta E A equal to delta E B. Now similarly for path A and C, we can write delta E A equal to delta E C. So we according to these two equations. equation 1 and equation 2 we can write here delta e b equal to delta e c so we can say here if we change something on state 2 then the state 1 will be unaffected so we can say here it's independent of the path and it's a point function and it is also a property of the system generally for cyclic process for cyclic process generally the cyclic integral of de equal to 0 and the dv is also 0 this is for cyclic process so this is about the first law of thermodynamics in next lecture i will discuss about the specific heat Thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures.